Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be looking at people reveal the worst thing they have seen at a wedding. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. At a cousin's wedding, my uncle was smashed and thought he had a stroke in the bathroom as he couldn't straighten himself. Turned out he'd buttoned his waistcoat to his trousers and couldn't sew it up. <laughs> oh my goodness. When someone overreacts because they're overthinking it, but in reality, nothing is wrong and it's just something small. <laughs> I was an event manager at a mansion that did a lot of weddings, so I've seen my fair share of wedding shows. My favourite is probably the one where the entire wedding party started drinking at noon for a 6pm wedding. The groom passed out around 5 and we couldn't get him up, so I made him a ham sandwich and propped him up in his bed while I hand fed him. Managed to get him and his boys down to the courtyard and then had to run back in and herd the women down. The bride spilled her mimosa all over her dress. Two of the bridesmaids couldn't find their shoes, but everyone was super happy and nice. There were about 150 people at the reception and every single one of them got absolutely hammered. The mother of the bride kept sneaking up on me, hugging me, and the groom made me pose for some photos with them. They also gave me all the leftover wedding cake and a few bottles of wine. I missed them. Wow, that sounded crazy. <laughs> they started drinking at noon. The wedding didn't even start yet. Give this person a raise, honestly. Good on them. During the best man speech, the best man proposed to the maid of honor. Totally stole the night from the bride and groom. Now the best man and maid of honor are in the process of divorcing. The bride and groom did not know this was going to happen. No one did. I feel like if you were going to do this, at least get permission from the bride and groom, whether it's okay or not. Because it is their day, you know, it is their wedding, it is their day once in a lifetime, and you ruin it for them? Really? It would be okay if they said okay, but if they didn't know about it, really? At my own wedding reception, I saw my wife's grandma, who was about 98, very slowly fall sideways off her chair. She remained in a sitting position, but just slowly tilted sideways till she was on the floor, still in the exact same pose. No one helped her? It sounds bad, but all I could think was, don't die at a wedding, please. Don't die at a wedding. Luckily, she was fine and lived for another few years to see her 100th birthday. Wow, amazing. Oh my gosh. How did she fall? How come no one stopped her from falling if she was falling so slowly? But seriously, that image in my mind though, a grandma just slow-mo falling off a chair. Was at a wedding this summer. The groom's family absolutely tore the son brother apart during the speeches. They didn't say one loving thing and went on to talk about all the mistakes he made during his life. The worst thing they brought up was how he was responsible for a car accident that put someone in coma. I was cringing. How much did they hate him? Why would you do that to your own son? What? At the reception, the bride received a tip to go out to the parking lot where she found her new husband making out with his ex-girlfriend. The ensuing fight came inside the hall and the party screeched to a halt. Both families were displeased and stuck him with a lot of bills. We kept our gift. <gasps> How dare he on the day of his wedding? Well, good. Good, at least she didn't waste her life away with him. Bride's stepmother and mother got into a fight. Stepmother bit the mother. Wedding went to a screeching halt. She bit the mother. She bit the mother. <laughs> what kind of fight is that, honestly? What were they fighting about? I'm curious. I just want to know what they were fighting about. One of my best friend's wedding. The groom got so drunk that he straight disappeared from the reception. Got real awkward when it was time for the wedding to be over. The venue was kicking us out and the bride and groom were supposed to take off in the vintage car and drive off to the honeymoon suite. The music went off, lights went on, and it turned into the guests searching for the groom. My husband finally found him in the parking lot, basically face down on his lips. He helped him back into the wedding, which was basically the most awkward walk of shame past the bride's glaring dad and grandfather. The groom was too drunk to drive bride's grandfather, drove them to the hotel suite. My friend, the bride, later told me that when they got in the room, her new husband passed out cone on the bed and she had to wander the halls in her wedding dress looking for someone to unhook her dress for her so she could get out of it. Oh, that's so sad. Why did he do that? He can get drunk any other time, but why does it have to be there? 
You know what I mean? Like, what was he doing? What was he thinking to get that drunk? I was an attendant in my best friend's wedding. Her father walked her down the aisle. While he was not visibly drunk, he had a hard time walking behind her to sit in the pew. What is that? The pew? <laughs> Pew, pew, pew. He stepped on her dress, ripping it from her back down to her butt. Her thong was red. They had to stop the wedding so that she could find safety pins. <laughs> I don't think they had to include her thong was red. <laughs> oh man, that's so awkward. For the bouquet toss, a middle-aged guy forced his middle-aged girlfriend out onto the floor, then stood by her so she couldn't leave. The bouquet was caught by an excited little girl. The guy proceeded to yank the bouquet out of the little girl's hands, gave it to his middle-aged girlfriend, then ran off the floor cheering loudly to high-five one of his buddies. The little girl ran away crying. What? He yanked it out of that girl's hand? It's not yours? Just because you have the bouquet doesn't mean anything now because you didn't catch it. You snatched it out of someone's hands. What was he excited for, huh? Groom got really drunk, trashed the suite, and got tased by the police before being arrested. <gasps> being arrested on your wedding day? Oh no. They didn't have any tables or chairs. We had nowhere to sit or to put our plates down. Everyone had to hold their food standing up and put the drinks down on the ground. Since there were no chairs to make an aisle for her to walk down, she just kind of strolled through the crowd while people were confused and talking. Where are the chairs? was the theme of the wedding. I was a close friend, so our group sent me to ask why there were no tables and chairs, and she simply said, oh, you have to pay extra for that. I mean, what? <laughs> they didn't pay for chairs and tables? I'm so confused. Why not? I mean, if you were gonna pay for the wedding and the reception and everything, might as well get chairs and tables, right? There was like an eight-year-old boy who had loads of confetti in his hand, so I didn't think much of it. Turns out he thought it was sugar paper and ate all of it. He then proceeded to projectile vomit everywhere through the middle of the ceremony. Was one of the funniest and most disgusting moments of my life. What kid doesn't know confetti is not food? <laughs> there was this guy outside of the hotel walking up to groups of people in the smoking area, asking how much each person weighed. He was very overweight himself, and his jeans looked to be inside out. He was severely underdressed for the occasion, and no one seemed to know him. Anyways, he would ask a person's weight, and then exclaim, I can bench that, until one guy got into an argument with him and started asking around if anyone knew this person, figuring that he was a wedding crusher. That's when this gentleman decided to cut a deal with everyone. If I can pick up that bench with my bare hands, can I stay for the party? To which everyone agrees because the bench was clearly bolted to the ground. So he walks over, puts his hands on the bench, crouches down, and with all of his might, poops his pants in front of everyone. He stood up and rattled off through the parking lot to never be seen again. A wedding crasher? <laughs> what? If he was gonna crash a wedding, why didn't he just be quiet, you know? Why did he have to make himself known? Why was he being so loud, you know what I mean? Why was he trying to get everyone's attention? Why? Ex-boyfriend of the bride got super drunk at the reception and started rambling loudly about how the marriage was wrong and how she was the love of his life. He was there with his then girlfriend. Why does she invite her ex-boyfriend? That's kind of weird. I mean, yes, you can stay friends with an ex, but I do feel like it might be uncomfortable for your partner knowing that your ex is there at your wedding. So, yeah, <laughs> it's just weird to invite your ex. <sighs> Friend's wedding, the bride's nephew, about seven, was the ring bearer. Instead of sitting at the front after he made it down the aisle, he decided to do karate moves in front of the couple during the entire ceremony. He's in almost all the photos. That's so cute. Nervous Grim stood with his legs straight for too long, fell forward and knocked himself out, cold hitting the first step to the platform with his head. Ow! Oh. He was that nervous for his wedding? Honestly, I'll be pretty nervous too. My husband and I got the screaming giggles during the vows and accidentally whacked our heads together. <laughs> That's so cute. Goals, honestly, goals. After arriving 45 minutes after the ceremony was to begin, during the ring exchange, the groom gets this blank look and says he didn't know he was supposed to buy her another ring. Sister-in-law slipped off her wedding band and handed it off to the preacher. 
Oh, she saved the day. What an amazing sister-in-law. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.